Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to JP's Project Room. In this video, we're going to go back to the 80s and take a look at my Skyway TA BMX. If, like me, you were born in the early 70s, you may have spent the early 80s riding a bike. Now, I was always out on my rally striker. Other people had grifters, choppers. But we were soon invaded by a craze from America called Bicycle Motocross, or BMX. These bikes were really cool. Colourful, designed for doing stunts and racing. They had cool names like Skyway, Harrow, Mongoose, Redline, PK Ripper, Quad Angle to name but a few. Over in the UK, Rally bought out the famous Rally Burner. My brother and I, we got a bike from Woolworths. It was called the Hawk Scorcher. You can see it in this photo. Now, it was cool. You know, it had some kind of mag wheels on it, blue pads, chrome frame, and we could spend our pocket money on doing it up. It was cool. We had loads of fun on it. Anyway, I never got one of the expensive American BMXs, but wind forward to the 2000s and eBay came along so you could start looking for your dream bike. So I did buy a mongoose from a guy in northeast London, I stripped it all down, had it resprayed, did it all up, sold it on, bought another mongoose, which was my dream mongoose. Just bought the frame and forks bought all the bits, put it all together, and that was my dream bike, and I'm gutted that I sold it, but I sold it on, and I bought a, well, it was kind of a Skyway, it had the weird thing with a frame, you can see in this photo, most Skyways have a little cutout in the rear dropouts, but this one didn't, and I did a bit of research, and apparently when Skyway TA production finished, um, there were a load of tubes that weren't welded into frames, they were put together and they didn't have these little cutouts. Anyway, I built the bike up, um, sold it on, and then I bought the Skyway TA that this video is focused on. And here she is, my 1983 Skyway TA. Uh, finished in white. Frame and forks uh, I found on eBay. I think I built this back in 2005. Um, shipped the frame and forks over from the States. They're dated 1983. Um, came in a Skyway TA cardboard box as well, which uh, once it was empty, I even sold that on eBay. I think someone paid me £10 for it, for an empty cardboard box. But there we go. Anyway, probably more famous than their bikes. Skyway were famous for their Tough Wheel 2 mag wheels. Everyone wanted a set of Skyways. Um, these were a reproduction set from the early noughties, I think. Uh, I think they still make them now. But um, they came, they had a plastic hub, so these have got um, a thing called cool caps, which you stick on to the, the nylon or plastic hubs, and they replicate the early Skyway Tough 2 alloy hubs. Uh, as you can see, we've got genuine Skyway forks, got the little cut out there. See loads of replicas on eBay. You know, if you search for Skyway TA, it'll always be Skyway TA replica. Um, and it'll be some other generic BMX frame and forks that someone's sprayed white um, and stuck a load of Skyway stickers on. Now, this one, I went for 
MX1000 Diacomp quick release brakes. Got the matching levers. Lovely SM mushroom grips, nice and soft to the touch. Uh, I think these are called CW trick bars. Um, they're really quite big, quite wide, um, but they've got the, the bar that goes flat along the top. Uh, for the freestylers out there who used to, I don't know, somehow stand on them. I was never really that into freestyling. I always thought it would hurt too much because I fall off all the time. I uh, haven't got a particularly special neck on there. wouldn't mind getting a tough neck for it, but it does the job. Uh, back down to the brake calipers. Got Skyway branded brake blocks. There we go. There's that teardrop. Totally aerodynamic tubing that the TA was famous for. Um, if you look on eBay or look on the web, uh, most of the Skyway decal sets you see on there are for a Skyway TA Extra Long, which I believe is a a frame that had an extra bit of length in it for taller guys or bigger guys to ride. Um, this is just a standard frame. They seem really rare. Um, but the one thing the decal sets don't give you normally is this True Temper decal, but... I managed to get hold of one somehow. Uh, moving along. Uh, genuine set of Skyway Tough Pedals. Sugino GT crank set. Uh, there are better cranks out there. This is a three-piece crank. A lot of the BMXs had one-piece cranks that were just, as the name suggests, one piece. I think the ultimate cranks were Redline Flight cranks. At the time, don't know if you remember those, and I think they go for a lot of money if you can find them. Up to the seat post, we've got a matching MX chrome alloy seat clamp, chrome layback seat posts, and the essential Cash Max Aero seat. I think they've started remaking these again because I've seen them on eBay and they seem to be uh, available in abundance. Moving down to the rear brakes again, Diacom MX-1000 quick release calipers. Uh, I've just got some generic, I think these are called knobbly, knobbly tyres, they're nothing special, nothing like panel racers, I think these are Michelins. Um, but I remember my first BMX had snake bellies, tread pattern on them. Again back down to the rear hub and you can see again there's the uh, cut out Skyway TA dust caps. When I got this bike it was white but I think due to age you know I had some imperfections so I got it blasted and repowder coated. Anyway hope you've enjoyed that hope it's brought back some memories and that is one cool bike that I don't think I will ever part with. Quick look at my box of bits I've got laying about. Uh, it's an original Harrow tech plate with a load of spare numbers, new in packs. Got some unused tange grips and some fake mushroom grips. There's a crank spider. A pair of JT Racing USA gloves. A load of spare brake levers. Some nice two finger brakes there. I think I had a pair of those. My Hawk Scorcher, an unbranded red seat, some empty mongoose boxes from one of my builds, brand new set of mongoose pads for another mongoose I was planning to build, uh, some Skyway pads for V-bars and a set of Tange forks. Well that's about it, thanks for watching, if you've got any BMX related memories or just want to tell us what bike you had stick it in the comments below. Um, I'll be posting all sorts of stuff, not necessarily BMX related on this channel, but please feel free to subscribe and give me a like. Uh, see you again soon.